ladies, welcome back to Glow Up with Rache. I am Rache. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I know it's been a while. I just uploaded a collective vlog, so go back and check it out. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. So this video, yeah, it's going to be a good video, guys. It's going to be short, sweet, and straight to the point. This video is going to be about how to move in silence and the importance of moving in silence, okay? Now, I had to I learn this the hard way, all right? I used to tell everybody my business, good news, bad news, all kinds of news, <laughs> but I do not do that anymore, okay? You, there's a reason why your business is your business. It's for a reason. And when you have good things that happen to you or even unfortunate things that happen to you sometimes it's good to just keep it to yourself and your therapist so everyone is not rooting for you and like i said i learned this the hard way i've i had a lot of people even to this day and they i think they call it monitoring spirits now it's like a new term for it but there was many many and still many people that follow me on social media that just look for a downfall okay they're just rooting for my downfall they want something bad to happen to me. they want me to fall off they want something to come up in my life that so i can talk about it and then they'll react to my post and then they'll react for me to say something that is unfortunate in my life there's a lot of people that's just looking at my page just to monitor it and don't care about the good things okay they won't celebrate your wins they won't repost what you what you do they won't support you in any way shape or form but they will write subs about you or go on their page and talk about you or whatever the case may be and when you're doing good when they see you doing good you will see them looking at you but they won't say anything these my friends are called enemies okay and i don't care who they are they are enemies this is what i call enemies if you can't say i'm so proud of you oh hey you look good oh i'm inspired by you you motivate me you just look at what people do downgrade them try to bring them down spiritually talk about them gossip about them spread lies or rumors about them and then try to mimic them or copy them. But then you're looking at everything they're, they're doing and you're not supporting anything they do. So this is weird energy to me. Um, I learned the hard way, like back in the day, I used to tell everybody everything. When something is not even step, set in stone, I would be like, oh yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I own this, I own that. I'm doing, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore because i am protecting my peace my spirit in my blessings okay not everyone is rooting for your success at the end of the day and i think i spoke about this in, in my tiktok videos as well be mindful of your surroundings because even the people that you think that are close to you could have snake mentalities now i've heard some weird stories but i've heard a very weird story um, that a so-called friend shared with me and it was just very 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 weird this brought me to the point of like okay are you really a friend or are you really a, an enemy of mine and sometimes you have to listen to your intuition as well your intuition tells you a lot your gut feeling tells you a lot and I am tapped into my intuition. I've learned over the years that I have to stay in tune with my higher self in order to get those answers. Like, is this person really for me? If you have to even ask that question, then the person is not really for you, if that makes sense. If you have to get answers from somebody else, is this person really my friend? Then that person is not really your friend. Um, if you're ever questioning something, go with your gut feeling. You always have the answer at the end of the day, so why even ask that question? Long story short, your wins is your wins. Yes, it's okay to tell your friends about what you're celebrating or tell your friends what you're doing, but make sure they're your friends, if that makes sense. Make sure they're for you, genuinely, authentically, 
Make sure they support what you're doing. If they never supported you in the past, then they're not going to support whatever you're doing and whatever endeavors you get into in the future. And this is just the harsh and hardcore truth. Like I said, I have many. Uh, I had many friends that I used to say, "Oh yeah, I'm doing this next." <clears throat> Lo and behold, they do it. They try it, or when I do it, they don't support me when I'm doing it. So, and then things go to shit, if that makes sense. So their energy is putting bad energy on it, or bad whatever you want to call it on it, and they're wishing that it don't happen, or wishing that you fail at it. Um, it's just a lot of energy that can interfere in your blessings and. Of course, if you stay prayed up, if you stay in tune with your higher self and the God within you, you can block these energies, of course. Like I said, it's all about your intuition. But why even put yourself through that in the, in the first place? Protect yourself and protect your blessings in the first place. I'm, I'm not, I don't run my mouth anymore. <laughs> I don't say, oh, I'm done. I just do it. Then I pop up and say, hey, it's done. Or a contract sign. Once the contract is signed, then it's a done deal at the end of the day. So now I can talk about it. I could talk about this and that because it's a done, it's basically signed. So it's like, yeah, I'm doing this next. But if nothing is not like concrete for you and you're saying, oh, I'm going to do this next. Oh, I'm going to write this book next. Oh, I'm going to put this out there next. Don't tell people that because people literally would wish on it to fail or wish on you to fail so you won't accomplish what you want to accomplish in life there literally are snakes out here watching out every move and i feel like social media sometimes is the devil because you never know who are, is really following you because they like you or who is following you because they hate you <laughs> and like it's a thin very thin line at the end of the day um because even fake pages come to my instagram and look at my stories it's very weird energy i, I feel like 2020 bought out uh, a very eerie crowd eerie mindset in people that if you're not like I said, in tuned with what you're doing and mindful about your situation and, and people around you, that you will get caught up in some mess at the end of the day. Um, I've lost a, a lot of so-called friends due to envy, jealousy, evilness, like all types of crazy stuff. Um, but they wasn't my friends to begin with. So I am grateful for the loss it's not a loss it's actually a win in my book because the universe revealed who they truly are and once somebody show you who they are once believe it when the mask come off and i ain't talking about the makeup that i'm wearing <laughs> when the mask come off when you see the real wolf in sheep clothing believe it stop giving these people second chances stop giving these people third chances when i was younger i used to give people second chances oh she didn't mean that he didn't mean that he ain't doing that for that reason now you're one and done and like i said i don't owe you any explanation i'm cutting you off and that's that these are the things you have to carry with you in life and you have to honor because you don't owe anything to anyone but yourself and if you keep putting yourself in toxic situations, friendships, relationships, then guess what? It's going to keep on repeating until you fully learn your lesson. And I always say this. People are going to repeat in your life in different physical form until you fully learn your lesson. Stop putting yourself in these situations and start honoring your worth, your peace, your energy, and your blessings, and your future blessings. Stop telling everybody your goals. Write them down. Keep them only between you. Take steps towards them daily. And be motivated. Be determined and be consistent. But you don't have to tell everybody what you're doing next. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't do it. <laughs> between me and you don't do it it's not worth it it's definitely not worth it so this is just a short video guys i just wanted to come up here just to do that motivational video for you um stop telling everybody your business because everybody is not even worth 
hearing your business, okay? Everybody don't care. Some people don't care. And some people don't root for you and don't don't get down with you like that. Even though they portray a good show and a good act, like they're for you, they're not for you at the end of the day. And you'll know, like I said, you'll know who's for you and you'll know who's not. If you have to question it, then they're not for you. Cut them off. Keep it moving. Sayonara. Period. Follow me, subscribe, like this video, and go on my podcast, check out my affirmations, check out my TikTok healing talks, and uh, check out some of my books that I publish. I publish so many books, you guys, like I just published a healing guide for you. You know, if you guys are healing like me, everybody is healing going through this, e, I want to say, dynamic change daily. Um, we're always on a growth journey. And I feel like evolving is a part of the process. Once you read and you fill your mind with positive books, inspirational books, motivational things, and you reprogram yourself to only attract abundance, good, goodness, happiness, and joy. You feel me? What else can you want? What else do you want? <laughs> Subscribe and thumbs up this video, guys. 